So good morning, everybody. It is so wonderful to be here with everyone uh, this Thursday morning uh, to discuss this week's Parsha, Parsha's Peshalach. And before we share something with our friends online, I just want to dedicate today's Parsha Minute to our dear uh, friend, Ashley, uh, who was not able to be with us here this morning, but um, her presence is always with us um, at our class uh, here. So this week's Parsha, we have uh, the Jewish people leaving Egypt. And Vahi uh, B'Shalach Paro Ta'am, when Paro sends the Jewish people. So one of the things that we see, the Jewish people leave without provisions. They leave without food, they leave without drinks, they leave without all of their uh, planning. And you know, it's very difficult to get Jewish people to go anywhere without, you know, packing food. Maybe that's the reason why, you know, since then, you know, the Jewish mothers, my mother, you know, or my wife, uh, anytime I'm going any place, you sure you have food? Do you have enough food? You sure you don't want to take something with you? Right? It's okay, I'm just going down the block. It's not a big deal, right? No, no, you sure you, you I can't pack a sandwich with you? Right? But um, the, the, the ability for the Jewish people, the demonstration of faith that they exhibited when leaving Egypt, to be able to go and not be worried to say, you know what? We've seen all the miracles Hashem has, has performed. We see all of the abilities that Hashem has very, very clear to all of us. To be ready to let go on such a level, the Jewish people were greatly rewarded for that. And that is to just, you know, we have this, this idea, we've mentioned this sometime in the past, that, um, you know, there's something called financial security. You know what financial security means? You know what it really means in a spiritual sense? Financial security means I don't trust God, right? And even God won't be able to get me to be impoverished. Uh, God won't get me to be able to, right? Because I have financial security. I have a, a rainy day fund. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a savings account. There's nothing wrong with, 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 with uh, being uh, financially uh, cautious and planning. There's nothing wrong with that. On the contrary. We see from Joseph, Joseph had the first savings account ever, right? He saw that, that there was going to be seven days of famine. So what did Joseph do? He put away, when things were going well, the first seven years, he put it away so that when he would have the seven years of famine, he would have what to, what to pull from. He had a rainy day fund. But this idea of financial security is something else. And that's where people want to be God-proof. Where no tragedy, no calamity, no catastrophe, nothing can, can get in my way of having my financial security. But there's something to be said about someone who is ready to say, you know what, I'm ready to live in the hand of Hashem. I don't know what's going to be. I don't have plans for it. Imagine if the Jewish people were insistent on being financially secure before leaving Egypt. Right? They would never leave. But instead, we see that the Jewish people were ready to leave. They were ready to leave without having any provisions, without having anything. And perhaps it's something for us to, to inspire ourselves to be willing to sometimes let go. Shall? We don't have to have all the answers. We don't have to have all of the, every, all of the answers figured out to be ready to take a leap into the hands of Hashem without having all the answers figured out in advance. And that, I think, is a big lesson we can learn from ourselves, the Jewish people. We were ready to leave Egypt. We did not have all the answers there. We didn't have everything figured out. God says, listen, I'm here to carry you. And the Jewish people said, Mi kamocha, who is like you? That God takes care of us. God covers all of our needs and of course, the amazing miracles that ensued immediately after that, we have the Jewish people going through the, the, uh, the sea. Each, each, they all went as one unit, but each one with their own separate identity. And it's also a very, very important uh, uh, idea, the idea that, you know what, you're part of a Jewish people, but you also have your own personal identity. You have something special that you can contribute to the world. Hashem should bless us all. And that's that, um, what I'm referring to is that when the Jewish people went through the sea and the sea split, 
it's split into 12 different lines each for each one of the tribes everyone had their own unique identity everyone had their own flag everyone had their own their own leader but everyone was also part of one unit part of one Jewish people either way my dear friends thank you so much for joining us for the rest of this wonderful program you're welcome to join us here at the Torch Center every Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Have a magnificent day. Thank you for joining us.